Hello and welcome to Stationary Test Drive. Today we are going to be looking at masking tape. Uh, I'm Vishal. This is Minjal. I'm Sameer. And before we go on to talking about the masking tape, uh, Minjal, what have you been up to? Um, I think collectively we've uh, spoken about the merchandise that we're uh, launching on Inky Memo. And uh, we're very delighted that some of the products are now actually um, up on our website. So um, this is the, the product reveal then, right? Yeah, so your first product, Inky Memo's first product, is a notepad. Uh, Samir, why don't you tell us more about it? We wanted to make stationery that celebrates stationery. So I, we, we went for graphics that were very much uh, using elements that were all about stationery, pencils, pens, nibs, all of our favorite things. And we wanted something that was classic and simple and line art. And this is what we came up with. We are quite happy with it. It looks great. And I hope all of you go out and get one because it's, it's great for everyday note taking and also possibly do doodling. If you do get one of these and use them, please uh, tag us on social media. It's at Inky Memo. Uh, and we'll have links in the description below. Uh, but now on to stickier subjects, which is, of course, masking tape. Now, masking tape is not a usual thing you might think of as stationary, uh, but we all have it, we all use it, and we all use it in very... Uh, not very successful or not even its original purpose ways. So, somebody tell us about what masking tape was originally made for. Masking tape was originally invented for car detailing in the 1920s and 1930s. So, if, if you think of classic cars, especially American cars from that period, uh, two-tone and two-color cars were all the rage. And so, to have that perfect toning of two different paints, masking tape was invented to make those clean edges. So this is like a thin paper with an adhesive on the side, right? In case you are one of the few people in the world who is watching this video and has no idea what masking tape is, or if this is somehow reached aliens, then this is what we use to add stripes to our motor vehicles. <laughs> and the one adhesive layer goes and sticks down onto, in this case, paper. And as stationary people and not car detailers, that's where we ended up having problems. Uh, and we are going to cover uh, pretty much the same problem we all had, but also uh, one of the reasons why we think you should get masking tape. Uh, so why don't we show all just show our work as we do always. Uh, let's just put them all together because they're all here. They're all different enough but they have I think we all went for the same uh, the classic rendition of what masking tape can do for us which is to mask out areas and then put paint around them. Is that right? Did we all do that in some form? Yes, pretty much. I, I just chose to do a card because I thought it was appropriate to where masking tape started. So, and it has paint striping although you not done pinstriping there. You did that with a with a fine liner, which I think we covered in a previous episode. So check that one out. Uh, Minjal, you have done uh, cool Pinterest uh, trending uh, art. Geometric art, I think, is the is all the thing these, you saw. Yes, all the all the hashtags. I'm I'm sure I can have something just like that. Yeah, this <laughs> uh, actually this design is fairly popular um, on with you know with artists with. Um, you know, a lot of young uh, artists who are like just beginning to, you know, paint and experiment. It's a great exercise. It is. It's a great exercise in tone, value and all the basics of art. Uh, I did what I usually do, which is a portrait. And I put some gouache over it and masking tape, of course, to mask off an area. And I don't know if it's going to show up in the 4K here. Uh, if you have it, we'll, we'll put in a zoom uh, shot somewhere here. But all of us had the same problem, which is that these are not cars, these are pieces of paper. Pieces of papers behave differently to the sheet metal of a car. Who knew? Uh, and every time we were removing the masking tape, we all had tear out. 
Now you yeah. can see, you can see it here, here. You can see it here in mine. I was as careful as I could be, but you can still see some of it there. I think he Samir got the neatest uh, lines in terms of the pull. We had bleed because Minjal, you used gouache. Well, I, uh, no, I used acrylic paints, and uh, this actually is four hundred GSM acrylic paper. Right. Mm. And so uh, yeah, the I mean the peel off is probably as bad as uh, yours. Yeah, this is a a one one fifty GSM cartridge paper. Yeah, nothing about fancy. The same here. Um, and yes, we, I had peel off here. I had bleed. Uh, this is gouache. This is I guess technically it should be thicker than acrylic going down. But even though, even because there's a lot of, you don't get those nice, satisfyingly clean edges. And I'm sure there are people who go around watching ASMR videos of, of satisfying uh, masking, masking tape pulls. pulls yes. uh, that's actually a thing that happens, especially for artists. Um, did, did any of you kind of dull down the, the adhesive before you put it on the paper? I did. And this is a technique that I learned from watching videos of people doing... Uh, I, I'll try to demonstrate what it is, but basically, uh, we have a piece of masking tape here. If I pulled it out, you can see there is always going to be some... So there's techniques to how you pull it out, but there's a way to prime this. So now this has much less adhesion than when I first when put it, it out. Off. So what you do is you pull out a piece of tape. And then you, if you have a pair of jeans or you can even do it on your hand and finger. I you, used our couch. Yeah, you just, you press it down so that some of the... Uh, the glue goes onto that uh, surface and you can wash that surface later of course but then that means that this is less sticky hopefully it forms a barrier and that is the problem with putting on uh, the putting it onto a couch or onto a pair of jeans you don't get that nice edge anymore which is why I had bleed out and uh, Minjal you had some good edges and some rough edges I, I think the the difference between what you guys did and what I did is that you used the natural edge of the tape. Right. And maybe that's why you got less of a clean edge, whereas all of my edges were things that I cut out shapes ah. with a scissor. So I was using the central part of the tape rather right. than the edge of the tape as an edge. And the scissor itself will end up uh, biting down because this is a yeah. paper almost medium. Um, so if you can imagine it as a substrate of, of, of cellulose and uh, glue it has a certain thickness to the cellulose i'm guessing when you cut unless it's a super sharp scissor the glue kind of pushes down the glue and the paper will sort of form an edge form a crimp yeah uh, so that might have helped you there we should uh, see that because i'm guessing the factory edge is quite ragged yeah and mm. it's also open to the element so there are there's probably some dust. bit of dust and things yeah. that get in there and make that glue not quite as sharp as it could be now we aren't working with the most um, let's say artist grade tape we work with regular this is used by carpenters and painters uh, all over the world and this is the cheap stuff this is the stuff that you're using on your wall and you know maybe there i i looked it up and there are now automotive grade pinstriping uh, masking tapes and they're all vinyl they're not even paper yeah um, there are uh, other tapes that people are familiar with and you what other types of tapes do artists use at least uh, I think there is, uh, similar to the the auto-detailing tape, there are plastic-based tapes that artists use. Mm. But I think one of the problems we have been facing with this is masking tape has become this generic thing. Right. We now call anything that's a paper tape masking yes. tape. Whereas the original masking tape uh, for masking has a very specific use and a very specific way that it's made. And I don't think most of these are made that way anymore. Before we go any further, basic term, this would be a mask. Where you mask out or you add a layer and then you put paint so that the paint doesn't go on the part that you are masking. Hence, masking tape. It's a term that people use even today in digital uh, uh, Photoshop and things where you create a mask over something to either hide or reveal so yes, that's why it's masking tape. It has nothing to do with wearing masks. It's all to do with metaphorically masks. But so, tell us about the history. So uh, I think some of the history kind of explains why we are having problems with this. When when two-toning in, in automobiles started in the 20s, hmm. there wasn't a tape like this that you could just use. So what uh, painters would do is to use Baker's paper, apply a glue to it, hmm. and then kind of make their own tape. Right. 
and uh, baker's paper is naturally wax is waxy so now what happened then was that uh, a brilliant little uh, a brilliant engineer uh, who worked for 3m saw this and they were 3m at the time was just making um, sandpaper hmm. for the paint jobs and he went and experimented and what he did was to try some sort of crepe paper and this is what we now have is somewhere between crepe paper and baker's paper right but the trick to masking tape when it was invented by 3m was that it was a pressure sensitive adhesive i don't think modern masking tape unless you buy very high grade stuff is pressure sensitive right so it activates only upon applying pressure to it A- and activate. deactivates so and deactivates. so when you pull ah okay the, it's pressure sensitive and hence it kind of comes off easily now the problem with most of this masking tape is that it's used largely by as we shall say carpenters and you know housework and sort of hardware oriented uses rather than fine art uses and you're okay with um being a little forceful on a wall but that doesn't quite work with paper so and you can do touch ups on walls which most of us exactly. are a bit too precious about so i think the the thing that we call masking paper the masking tape today is maybe not as refined as what it started out as and there's a lot bigger of a range of tapes that we just call masking tape as a generic term so it might be that for art use you just need to get something that's a, a lot more specifically made for paper use then so why don't you tell us more about the actual paper you use you use the thickest paper this is technically something that should have just gone off without a hitch right yeah so i uh, started off with uh, a cartridge paper fairly similar to yours mm. um i ended up completely shredding it that happened to me as well we'll talk about that <laughs> yes so it was uh, obviously not something i could even salvage at all um and i actually thought uh, you know brusho does really uh, you know good uh, acrylic and watercolor papers uh, and i wanted to bring out the acrylic so i thought i'll use this paper and uh, you know it turned out fairly well say you know i was able to successfully pull off most of this without any damage to the paper i did get a little excited because it was similar to you know peeling fevicol off your fingers i got really excited at the end that <laughs> just started pulling off the tape the minjal pulling fevicol off her fingers video will be coming soon yeah that will be on our only fans <laughs> uh speaking of fevicol though there is a uh, a masking fluid that behaves similarly but is an actual fluid medium that we might test out in the future because that is more of an artist medium uh, but you're right this you do get excited that there is a whole genre of people doing uh, satisfying pulls which is literally videos of people doing that with close miking so if if yeah. you're a fan of that please tell us who hurt you uh, <laughs> and if you want us to start a you know parallel second channel, channel about asmr where we just shut up and yeah where we whisper and only pull, pull things off paper yeah we are open can, to these things can, yeah uh i think there is a lot you can do with masking tape i think that we can try out more of them we are clearly um because this is stationary test drive we just go for things that are available things that were that are around us and we literally show you our first or second tries in this case like i said i used a similar cartridge paper but i went very overzealous <laughs> with this like that and it ended up in the garbage and yeah. maybe i if i have a picture on my phone of the process in between i'll show you but uh, and this, this was, was this was manual second try this right? was my second try yeah in my case this was my first but i i think it was because i was as careful as i could be but as you can see there's still stuff that's peeling, peeling off. off and you saved your tape yeah so just to see what the process is like these are the pieces that are used to form the the shape of the head for example and those are your cut edges with the scissor yeah right so is this uh, an nft in the making because well it looks like one it becomes an nft after i start animating it in gif then only then is it worth it okay well there's plenty of non fungible things in the universe but masking tape is not one of them it's ubiquitous and like sabir says to the point where getting actual masking tape is getting increasingly difficult 
uh, I went and looked for one and someone gave me uh, what would be generically called scotch tape, which is plastic and leaves a residue yeah. and is totally not good for this sort of thing. Uh, painter's tape, as this is sometimes also called, uh, is not supposed to leave a residue, but the problem is it also takes paper with it. So, mm. so I'm, should, would, would you have applied like multiple um, like layers? No, of, the good thing about masking tape is that you get it in many sizes. I just used a, I guess this is like a two inch, two inch one. Yeah. I just put one over it because that's the thing we, when we were growing up we used masking tape for packing not right. for masking so we we're in the tropics we're in India right now and Samir and I spent time in the Middle East I think in some ways the scotch tape it would just deteriorate right it was too yeah. hot and humid too hot uh, it would deteriorate with exposure to the sun as in you, you would literally not be able to peel it off it would just get you would get a tape that you could not yeah, use masking tape was just use easy into to, a, to take off the, the roll. Yeah, so that's why we grew up with masking tape as a normal packing material, not as an art material. So obviously when we started this channel, we uh, this series, we thought, well, that's, that's uh, something that we are not used to. So that's why we decided to explore it. I think it's a, if not a fully successful experiment, then at least a worthy experiment that we need to come yeah, back I mean, to. You, you can clearly do things that you can't do by just painting. Right. Like Those these edges. Are, these are uh, shapes that you just could not get by using a brush. So there's clearly a use for it. I guess uh, we have this channel now. So at some point we need to explore the different kinds of masking yes. tape and figure out what really works well with paper. Because I've seen things that are closer to baking parchment. Uh, more cardboardy tapes. Mm -hmm. We've also seen an, a, an explosion in washi tape which is almost used as a decorative tape itself and is not used to mask in any way yeah but is essentially masking tape right so we should have a look at that and masking fluid like we talked about before uh, which is actually again used as masking but there you apply it with a brush it dries over the paper hopefully you paint over that and then you like Menja's famous favicol example you literally rub it off and then you get more fine details rather than these lines because the other thing is you can't really do very fine details unless you're really cutting things up with an exacto knife or something um, and yeah I think we have you know covered no pun intended pretty much all we can with this type of masking tape I am torn I, I'll say that finally uh, so, yeah, I think that's it for this Our episode. alternate channel with stationary puns is also coming up soon. I mean, you know, we, we, we called it Inky Memo. The, the puns do write themselves and we have written all of them. So, don't try to steal them. They're ours. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for this episode. We will be back with more stationary, more experiments. And, of course, rip and tear with caution. <laughs>